Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I've got something really special for you. Shantakai have released a new collection and this is called the new Wild Mustang Collection. I've managed to secure it. I've actually got this from Cult Beauty and I was really surprised because it came in this wonderful pouch. We're just going to dive in and we're going to look at what I've picked up. So this collection has six pieces and I've picked up all the pieces. These include four eyeshadows, luminescent eyeshadows and also the matte eyeshadows and there's two of each so I'm going to show you those and I'm going to show you the two lip products that come with it as well which is the Shantakai Lip Veil and it comes in the two colours which are Laurel and Wild Begonia. This bag is just so, so cute and really is my aesthetic. I love this colour, it's beautiful. So, yeah, with the two matte shades, we have Palomino and Bay, and then we also have Pinto and Rowan, and that is the two luminescent eyeshadow colours. Now, we just have to pause for a moment and I'll post some pictures as well of how stunning this collection is. These are all horses and I'm the year of the horse in the Lunar New Year calendar. So I had to get this collection because it's so close to my heart, but also it's my birthday month. So I thought I'd pick these up and show you these. So the Wild Mustang collection is, is inspired by the rich hues of America's wild Mustangs and their sweeping Western landscape. And it's created to support the American wild horse campaign. So let's start off with the two matte eyeshadows. You have the colour Bay and Palomino. So you have this gorgeous stallion on each side or Mustang on each side. A horse, I'm not sure what to call them, <laughs> so many different variations. I mean I have to say this is one of the most gorgeous packagings I've seen. You've got an actual picture of the Mustang and it's stunning. And then the other one is the colour Bay and I'll show you the picture of that as well. So let's take a look. So look how beautiful that is. You've got Palomino on this side and then you've got Bay on this side, but I'm so, so excited. I'm gonna show you some swatches and then we're gonna put it on the eyes. So this is what the first one looks like. Oh my God, isn't that just gorgeous? I don't even want to touch it. Okay, so let's swatch this together. That's what it looks like. So this is the hand swatch of the first shade. Palomino. Okay, so let's take a look at Bay. So Bay is a darker shade, as you can see. It's such a gorgeous shade, quite chocolatey in colour. Okay, so let's do a quick hand swatch of Bay. So that's the colour Bay, and you can see it's a lot more intense. Such a gorgeous matte colour. So these colours are designed to kind of be as a one-off colour. So I'm going to take this brown, I'm going to put it as an all-over shade and just show you how it looks. Oh, that's pretty. So easy to use. That was literally just one swipe. I'm going to put some underneath my eye as well. God, that's really, really gorgeous. It looks so pretty and so simple. And then I'm gonna try the Palomino color and just see how I can add a little bit of lightness into this look. I'm just gonna take the Palomino shade and just... lighten up certain areas. I 
have to say this shade is really subtle. I think if you are darker than I am, it may not appear so well on your skin tone. I think I just about get away with this shade as a kind of highlighter shade or a lighter shade, but I don't think it's gonna show on a darker skin tone. So just so you know, cause that's what I'm experiencing at the moment. It definitely swatched really well on my actual hand. I'm just using it to create some lightness around my face with it. So I'm just gonna add some mascara and some brow and some liner, and then we're gonna try them on the lips together. So what I thought I'd do was take the brown and just intensify it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go in again with that matte shade, which is called Bay. Putting it in my crease, my outer crease here. Oh, as an intense colour, it's gorgeous. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more to the lower lash line. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this shade. So, so pretty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lighter shade and I'm just going to dab it on the inner corner of my eyes just to give that little bit of light. Well, I think they work really well when you combine the two matte shades together and you pretty much just kind of make the outer V more brown and then add the lighter color, which is that Palomino color on the inner part of your eye. That's so pretty. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Stunning. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go into one of the lipstick shades. We have Wild Begonia and we have Laurel. So let's take a quick look at them both. Wild Begonia is a little bit more deeper and a little bit more darker. I mean, it's not hugely dark, but out of the two, it's the darker one. And then we have Laurel and Laurel is a little bit more lighter. So let's go with Laurel for this look and then we will use Wild Begonia for the other look. Oh, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. This is the packaging for it, it's stunning. I'm just gonna show you up close. How beautiful is that? So this is Laurel. How gorgeous is that? You've got the horse at the top. I mean, this attention to detail to this collection is stunning. And you open it up, and then this is the shade. Oh my God, so. Let me just quickly do a hand swatch. So this is Laurel. Beautiful sort of pinky nude color. Okay, let's go in with Laurel. Just gorgeous. What a beautiful colour. I just thought I'd let you know what I have on my cheeks. I have the Positano collection. I don't know if you remember this collection. And there were two shades in there. It was like a duo, basically. And I've got the Serena bronzer on. And it is stunning. I've actually picked up the Cosmo collection because I wanted to get it for the packaging because I'm a huge Chantecaille fan. So I have that and this is what the shade looks like and isn't it gorgeous? It's a very holiday inspired shade. Stunning. This is look one. It's 
So the next shade I'm going to show you is the colour Pinto. So let's take a look at Pinto. This is stunning. This is one of their luminescent eyeshadows. These are all limited edition from what I'm aware. This is what it looks like close up. And then this is the colour. Look at that. So gorgeous. So I'm just going to do a hand swatch of Pinto for you now. Oh my god. My god, that is stunning. Wow. Wow. Because it's a luminescent shade and because I've got a matte base, I thought I would use this on top of the shades that I've got on now. And that's what I'm going to do with both shades when I show you. I just think it's going to look gorgeous because I've got a lovely base already. So I'm going to take this colour Pinto and I'm going to use it as a topper shade on top of the colours that I already have. I'm really excited about this. So here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. So the brown is just kind of blended with this Pinto color so beautifully. And it's kind of like just brought out the color. It's stunning. You can see that. How gorgeous is that? Wow, I'm very, very impressed with Pinto. I do love this colour. So I have Pinto on now and I thought let's play with this final colour. And this one is the colour Rowan and I'll show you this in more detail. So this is what Rowan looks like and this is the colour. A little bit lighter than Pinto and I'm going to use this as like an inner corner highlight shade. Oh my God, the colours are just absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to do a hand swatch of this colour, which is the colour Rowan. Gorgeous again, slightly lighter than Pinto. So I have my colours on my eyes and I'm just loving it. I'm going to take this Rowan shade and I'm going to use it as an inner corner colour. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. And then just use that as like a, a highlight shade there. Just gorgeous. So pretty. I'll just take a little bit of that and put it on my cupid's bow and on my tip of my nose. What I'm going to do now is just show you the other lipstick so we can complete this look but oh it's so pretty so so pretty. I've taken off the Laurel colour and I'm going to put on this one which is called Wild Vagonia and this one is more of a sort of more deeper shade but it's so pretty. So this is Wild Begonia. So I'm just going to do a hand swatch of Wild Begonia for you. A bit deeper in terms of the pinky shade. So we're going to finish the look off with Wild Begonia. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, pretty. You know, I love this formula because it's so hydrating on the lips. It's a really pretty colour. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is Wild Begonia with the rest of the 
colors that I've used on my eyes. So this is a second look that I've created. What I've done is literally combined the matte with the luminescent eye shadow so that you get another look, but also you get the base of the matte. So it's stunning. This is the second look. Okay, so I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on this collection. I'm really, really impressed with the colour story and the inspiration behind this collection. Everything is designed beautifully. It is immaculate. The way that they brought out the Positano collection, the way they brought out previous collections where you've seen the attention to detail with the animals that they are supporting and it's just so beautiful to see and as I was born in the year of the horse I am biased so for me I think it's absolutely stunning. The only thing I would say is the colour that I first put on I think it was the Palomino colour was just a tad light for me but when I blended it in with the brown it worked fine so I think as a kind of mixing colour, it works well, but I think on a darker skin tone, you may not see that colour show up. So just be aware that you're probably better getting Bay, which is that more brownie, chocolatey, gorgeous colour, which is my favourite from this collection for sure, than the lighter shade. If you're fairer, it will definitely show. I wish they had bought it out in a palette, in one palette, because all the colours work really nicely together. So, it kind of suits a four palette, if you know what I mean, as opposed to individual shades. And we all know Chantecaille's price point, it does cost a lot more to buy them individually. And I think if you're gonna go for one color, I think that the matte shade, which is the bay shade that I used, is exceptional in terms of one color shade. Then you also have these beautiful sort of luminescent eyeshadows that I did for the second look. And I'd probably say for that one, I'd go with the first shade I did, which was a little bit more darker and better for darker skin tones. I'm using the lighter shade as a highlight, which works on my skin tone, but I don't know if it would show on a darker skin tone again. So this is working on my medium skin tone. So I definitely think you should swatch it in store if you do get a chance to have a look. Other than that, all I can say is I think this collection is stunning. I'm going to keep my makeup on and I'll tell you how it's fared towards the rest of the day. But my initial thoughts are definitely worth getting this collection. Even if you get a few pieces, I think the lip products are really gorgeous. I wish this one was maybe a little bit more on the brownier side as opposed to the more pinky side, which is the second one that I did, which was called Wild Begonia. So I'd say with Wild Begonia, it's beautiful, but maybe it could have leaned more brown than pink. But other than that, that's my thoughts on this collection. I really, really hope that it's helped you and I hope that you'll be able to pick up some pieces because they are limited edition. You can't go wrong with this collection if you picked up any of the pieces. So I definitely would say go ahead and pick it up. Please let me know your thoughts. Please let me know your comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.